Welcome to the first ever guided tour of the High Wall of Lothric, an architectural delight that has stunned travellers throughout the ages. Constructed early in uh, 120 BC, the High Wall stands as a reminder that bricks and mortar can be beautiful. Now when you arrive at the High Wall you might think you're in your grandparents spare bedroom, but fear not, this is not the dank cupboard that your parents made you sleep in when you visited old granny and grandad, no no. This is the entrance to the high wall itself. Now, before departing onto the high wall, it's always best to take some form of protection. The locals can be slightly picky about who they interact with. They're a friendly bunch, they're a friendly bunch, don't get me wrong, but they can get a little bit anti. Personally, for this tour, I, I chose the uh, Heavy Longsword Plus 7. Not the best weapon in my arsenal, but there's just enough there to be threatening without being overtly aggressive. You do want to tread the fine line with these people. You know what it's you know what locals are like. You know what they're like. They get they get a bit protective, they get a bit fussy. You've got to tread it carefully. Show them you respect them, but also that you won't take any nonsense. Ah now here they are, the kneeling lads of the High Wall of Lothric. Pretty harmless, pretty harmless. Uh, that's Dave. He quite often looks over the lads, makes sure they're alright. A little bit aggressive, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was forced to kill Dave, which was unfortunate really. I didn't want to do it, but there you go. Ah yes, Simon. He used to be a choir boy, Simon did. Unfortunately, undeath hit him pretty hard. You know, you get a little tickle in the back of the throat. Just a little just a little annoyance, just in the back of the neck, and you can't quite shift it. He got that. Totally ruined his singing voice. A real shame. He used to pull in crowds from across the however many kingdoms there are in Dark Souls 3 that I can't remember. Ah, now, this is Fat Boy Slim. He is a fellow tourist. He's decided to come along for the ride. Unfortunately, a tad aggressive. As you can see, he's gone full-on offensive with his weapon. I don't really agree with that. It's not fair to the locals. They're just trying to, you know, live their lives as they do. They're trying to earn off the tourism industry. They don't want to be disrupted by it. I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair to disrupt the tourism industry. So, unfortunately, Mr. Fatboy Slim, whilst he does produce some interesting and, and genre-defining records, bit of an arsehole. Bit of an arsehole. So, he started attacking me. Why we didn't? Why? I, I, I don't know. I've never done anything to this man. Um, I feel his music was overused in adverts, yes, but that's no reason to swing a giant spiked mace at my head. Nonetheless, that is the way he has chosen to go about his day, so all we can do is attempt to defend ourselves, uh, unsuccessfully, it turns out. Anyway, as I was saying, we descend from the very top of the high wall of Lothric down these steps, where of course we will once again see Dave. Uh, Dave is still aggressive, um, really there's nothing to be done about Dave, he's just a very angry man in general, so just deal with him, that's fine. See you later Dave, thank you very much for turning up for a second time. And uh, of course we will have to listen to Simon singing for the second time. It's really not on, it's really not on, he's really quite loud, uh, it's, it's not acceptable. Ah yes, now Peter, Peter is a big fan of Simon's. Not all too happy with the treatment of, of, of Simon, but as I say, if you can't sing, don't open your mouth. Don't open your mouth. He he was, I mean, he was a tramp, right? He was a tramp. It, it, no one likes him. No one around here likes him. He tries to scam the tourists. It's not on. It's disgusting. He got what was coming to him, frankly. I don't like saying that about the locals, but sometimes. I had Dave's brother, uh, Dave too. I mean, there's there's quite a few Daves. So that was Dave Medium. We saw Dave, uh, me, well, that was that was Medium Dave. We saw Small Dave before. There are many Daves. There's Medium Dave, Dave Medium, Small Dave, Smaller Dave, Smaller than Small, but not as small as Smallest Dave. Dave. Um, we also have Medium Dave, Medium Small Dave. It gets very cons. It, <laughs> The, the locals, I'm not going to lie, little bit of little bit of inbreeding, little bit of incest going on. It makes it very hard to keep track of who's who, and the naming system. I mean, come on, I, we, we've got Simon the singer, we've got Sai the singer, we've got Simeon the singer. It's just it it gets ridiculous. So once you've seen Dave and Simon and smaller than small Dave, but not as big as medium Dave, Dave, you will then head across down one of the lower levels of the high wall of Lothric. Don't get me wrong, it's still pretty high. Ah, uh, now this here's Barry. Uh, Barry is very defensive. He once had a very rough time at the hands of a tourist. All he wanted to do was sell him a friendship bracelet. The tourist just went mental. Just went mental. Absolutely mental. Started beating him up with his fists. It was not called for at all. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to reason with him. I'm trying to reason with him, but he's so defensive. We think that possibly there may be a little... You know, just a little bit of PTSD going on back there. But, you know, I'm not a therapist, right? I'm not a therapist. I'm a tour guide. I'm here to tell you about the delight of the High Wall of Lothric. I don't have time to be his personal therapist. Now, if we go up these stairs, there's a lovely way... Like, just, oh, look at that reception. They've all come out for you. They've all come out to see you. Unfortunately, the High Wall of Lothric does have a mild dragon problem, as you can see. 
Sadly, everyone dies. But that's just that's just life on the high wall, you know. You get used to it. You get used to it. You have to be a bit careful because the the dragon is slightly aggressive. I mean, they did call in an exterminator once. They did call in an exterminator, but it turns out dragons fairly resistant to rat poison. Just didn't work. Just didn't work out. Now. Here we have a local celebrity, an absolute legend of his time. He's known far and wide for his work with uh, with the elderly and the disabled. Uh, it's not that guy, ignore him, that's medium, the medium, the medium Dave Dave. This is Larry. Now Larry is extremely protective of the, of the people under his care. All he's ever wanted is equality and freedom for all. The High Wall of Lothric quite quite a caste based system you know some people have got money some people haven't larry wanted to break down those those walls <laughs> you see what I did there before? he wanted to break down those walls and make it so that everyone could enjoy you know a nice relaxing happy life and and he wanted the tourism to be a little less obtrusive as you can see i mean i'm a very nice i'm a very nice tour guide i do my level best to help the locals i've already had to kill several of them um, it's just the way it is on the High Wall of Lothric, that's life, and indeed undeath. But Larry, that's not enough for Larry. He will defend the High Wall against what he sees as the Scourge. He ignores the vast quantities of, of souls that the tourism industry brings into the area. Truth be told, he's slightly short-sighted, uh, both in life and sort of in his appreciation for what tourism does for the area. But he's got heart, he's got soul, he's got spirit. and. It's always upsetting to have to deal with Larry because I keep trying to talk to him. I'm like, Larry, Larry, come on. Just just hear me out, Larry. But he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen, and as a result, he quite often finds himself unconscious on the floor at the hands of an understandably irate tourist who wants to be attacked by a giant man in armour with a massive sword. I don't. I don't, and I know our customers don't. But, you know, what are you going to do? You've, 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 got to, you've got to treat these people how they treat you. There's no such thing as non-interference in the High Wall of Lothric. If you're a weak man, if you're a weak woman, you don't survive. You don't survive your trip, you don't survive your holiday. You've got to show these people who's boss. There's a second resting place for you to have a picnic, and then we go back into the tower, and here we are. Now, this is this is actually, I, I mentioned him earlier, this is a smaller than small Dave, but not as small as small as small Dave Dave. And he has a habit of chucking things at people. It's, it's best that you get rid of him. And this is his cousin, smaller small Dave. Again, the Daves, they're a big family. They're a colossal family, in fact. The last census had them at over a thousand Daves of varying types. Makes it very difficult to keep track of who's who. But as I've said to them before, if they just marry outside the family, this wouldn't be an issue. So, we continue our tour. Now, you can see here some of the issues that the High Wall of Lothric cause with the locals. I mean, here's Medium Medium Dave, and Medium Medium Dave, his house is under the wall. It's literally under it. They, they just plonked it down right on top of it. You can understand why he's annoyed. But at the same time, there's, there's no reason to go about attacking people, is there? No, no, you've, you've got you've to take things easy, I keep telling him. I keep saying to him, Dave, whichever Dave you are, you've got to take things easy. You can't just, you can't just attack people for no reason. It's not on, it's not on. Now uh, here's Goopy Simon, uh, Goopy Simon, he used to be a singer, much like Simeon, the singer of Simon's Simeon, but he, uh, well, as you can see, he came down with a nasty rash a couple of years ago, never went to the doctor to get it sorted, and as with all of these things, they escalate, they escalate, if you don't treat it, if you don't treat it, I kept saying to him, I mean, I'm known, I'm known around the high wall of Lothric, I'm known, I kept saying to him, you want to get that looked at, right, you've got a big, like, you've got a big rash on your shoulder, it's going all the way down your back. There's like black goop coming out of it. You need to do something about it. And before you know it, before you know it, I mean, he was just covered in goop. And so his friends started calling him Goopy Simon. That's not fair, is it? That's not fair. So this is the uh, this is one of the many rooftops that the High Wall of Lothric completely messed up in its construction. Um, you can understand why the locals were slightly unhappy at first. They've grown used to the idea of having a giant wall directly over their houses. But to begin with, it's not really what you want. These lads are guarding something very impressive. Now, these are the the, uh, the king quadruplets, all born from the same mother. Um, I, I generally don't particularly like speaking to them, so I, I tend to try and get away as quickly as possible. They're very boring. They're very whiny. They complain a lot. Apparently, their mother left before they were born, 
and it, it's led to some doubt as to whether they're all actually from the same mother of, or not. Like, some of them think they are, some of them think they're not. Some of them are fairly convinced that they have no mother at all. It makes it very, very difficult to have a proper conversation with them. Nonetheless, sometimes it's worth going up this ladder and having a quick look around. It's definitely a good view from here. Um, as you can see, a nice bit of architectural work around here. I ignore him, he's been on the piss. So is he. In fact, pretty much everyone in the High Wall of Lothric seems to have a severe drinking problem. It's really quite worrying. If you want a nice bit of Estus, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, feel free. There are some excellent Estus breweries actually in Lothric itself that have done amazing work with micro hops, but I feel like, let's be honest here, let's be honest, I feel like, local or not, you only need maybe one Estus a day. Maybe one. You can't go chugging it, not 20 Estus a day, that's just getting silly, right? But that's what these people do. That's the culture of the High Wall of Lothric. It's a very, it's a very clubby, pubby atmosphere. Ah, now this is largest of largest, large, large Dave. Um, he's a bit of a, well, I hate to say it, he's a bit of a freak. All his brothers, far smaller than him, far, far smaller. And then he comes along and he's, he's massive. I shudder to think how his mother pushed him out. I mean, for God's sake, it was a natural birth as well. A natural, but not even cesarean. He must have been like a 20 pound baby. I don't even understand how the poor woman did it. I don't even understand. It must have been a right, it must have been a right evening for her. Good grief. Ah, now, ah, original Dave. Original Dave, he summons his brothers pretty damn quick. It's not really fair. I mean, there's Midget Dave, not as small as Midget Dave Dave, smaller than smaller Midget Dave Dave. And uh, they are, they're very aggressive. They are very, very aggressive. But as I say, you've got a sword for a reason, all right? You've got a sword for a reason. You've got to teach these people that it's not okay to try and bully tourists. It's not on, okay? It's not acceptable. You should not accept it. Ah, here we are. The shortcut back to your original picnic area. Now, have I got a treat for you here? Yes, it's Alex the Axe Man. He is a local legend. He's known all through the boroughs. He's incredibly aggressive, and uh, he has no qualms about beating the shit out of you. Which, sadly, he did. Join me next time as we carry on our tour of the High Wall. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go and take some paracetamol and have a lie down.